So the action button is the newest feature that our iPhone 16s have just came out with. It's been here for about a year, but I want to go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use your action button if you're a complete beginner to this particular new button that iPhones have. Now, number one, not every iPhone has it, but if your iPhone does have it, it looks like an actual button right above the volume buttons. And when you click on it, if you never mess around with it or never do anything, if you just click on it for one time or a couple times in a row, you can see it doesn't do anything. But your dynamic island does actually move around a little bit because action buttons are meant to be held down. So to invoke your action button, you want to hold down on this button right here. And when you do that, that will go ahead and invoke the thing that you want it to do. Now, if you press on it and nothing's happening, well, you may have to go and edit your action button. So we can do this by actually making our way over to our settings application. Now our settings app does have the action button option inside of it if our phone has it. So right here, you can tap on it. And this is where you can go ahead and edit up your action button. So there's a lot of different actions you can have inside of it. So for starters, you can have it go through and you can access it via accessibility. So if you hold it down, it'll go ahead and actually enable accessibility mode. You can have it run a Siri shortcut, which is really cool. So you have that option. You can have it also go through and beyond Siri shortcut, you can have it you know, go into the control center. So let's just say we choose a control, right? Let's say we want to open up the calculator application. Now, every time we go and basically hold down on this particular you know, action button, it'll open up the calculator. So that is something really cool. Translate, if you want to automatically open up the translate application, you can hold it down and it'll open up translate. If you want to quickly record a voice memo, you can hold this down to record a voice memo. If you want to open up the camera app, which I wouldn't recommend using because you have the dedicated camera button there, so you can just have that there. You can also have it enable a focus mode and you can have it um, enable silent mode. So whichever one you actually enable, when you hold it down, it'll go ahead and automatically, you know, kind of access it. Now this is also accessible within applications as well. So if you're in a different app, no matter what app you're in, you can hold down, you know, this particular you know, option right here to switch from silent mode to you know, ring mode and so on and so forth. So that is a different option that you have there too, which is genuinely very awesome. Now, beyond that, if you ever want to change your you know, action button again, you can always do that by going into your action button option here and changing it from here. Now, the Siri shortcut option or the shortcut option in general does have some really cool options here you can modify as well. So if you want to, if you ever want to customize it really, really crazily, you can go into here, you can choose a different type of shortcut that you want. So there's a lot of different shortcuts available. You can choose the different application and go and have it if you want to open up an app or whatever. And you can also customize this as much as you want to really within the shortcuts application. So those are the main ways to go about doing it for the most part. And that's how to use your action button if you're a complete beginner. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.